Through dangers untold and hardships unnumbered. I have fought my way to the castle beyond the goblin city to take back the child that you have stolen. Sarah, can I talk to you for a moment? There's nothing to talk about. Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be taking over Tina's channel so I can show you how to make your very own labyrinth book. Now, you have to be very careful. Going into the labyrinth is very scary, especially when you're on your own. Make sure to never take anything for granted. Alright, now that I gave you that advice, let's get right into the tutorial. Alright guys, so first you're going to want to get a book, preferably red, but if not, you can always paint it like I'm doing here. The perfect shade is Craftsmart's acrylic paint in Cherry Cobbler. Go ahead and paint the whole book. I needed about three coats of paint for mine. Now with masking tape, section off the ends like so. You could also use a ruler. I will link the template I referenced throughout the video in the description box. And if I haven't done so already, let me know in the comments. Go ahead and draw against the tape edges and then remove the tape. You should have a medium sized rectangle right center of the cover. Repeat the masking tape and marker step, but this time on the outside border of the cover. Go ahead and pencil in the oval design on the cover that overlaps the border we just created. Then go over it in Sharpie. Now it's time to draw on the flowers. You can get creative here, but I draw mine to resemble the labyrinth flowers. Eight flowers in total, four on the bottom half and four on the top half. Here comes the tricky part, the title. The labyrinth should be in gold. It is easier to space out if you use paint, but I ran out of my gold paint, so I use Sharpie. I could not do this on camera, guys. I tried. It was just way too stressful. But as long as you follow your reference picture, you should be fine. Your will is stronger than mine, so I know your labyrinth book will come out even better. 